Hi, welcome to this uh, circuit bending video. Uh, some weeks ago, I found this video uh, made by uh, Overwhelmingly Neutral on YouTube uh, about uh, those little uh, toy cameras. And I was wondering if uh, the circuit bends uh, they use in, the, um, in their video uh, can, could be pushed uh, further by adding controls over it. Um, so if we look inside, Normally, uh, if you want to circuit bend this, you will have to uh, solder like a really tiny uh, copper wire to the pins here. Copper wire like uh, this one, which is really, really thin. Uh, but you have to do this, uh, it's only if you are good at soldering, uh, which I'm not. So I found online those little adapter boards that snaps onto the ribbon cable here. The ribbon cable of the camera and get them through uh, like regular pins that I'm able to solder with my uh, with my goblin hands, my clumsy go goblin hands here. So you'll need two of them and what we want to do is stack them on top of each other using these uh, pin headers. It's uh, two rows, it's uh, like 24 pins just like the ribbon cable here and what I want to do is just stack them on top of each other make sure like that the, the pin number one gets to the other uh, boards to the pin number one as well do not put them like so uh, because it will mix the signals and the, the camera won't be able to boot up so we can input the camera into this one uh, get it through our pins header here and then bring them back into the camera here with another ribbon cable. Uh, so those are the parts we're going to need. Two uh, breakout adapter boards, uh, 24 pins, uh, 0.5 millimeters in thickness. A ribbon cable, which is also 24 pins and 0.5 millimeters in thickness. And pin headers. Uh, you can buy like uh, longer ones and cut them to length. Also, I can mention that uh, other uh, glitchy camera, uh, cameras like this exist. Uh, I think it's the, uh, the glitch cam from Lo-Fi Future. Uh, probably uh, uses a similar band, but with a much nicer finish and much nicer controls uh, over, uh, over the camera bands. So again, big, uh, big shout out to uh, Overwhelmingly uh, Neutral. Uh, because I uh, wouldn't have, have found those little uh, toy cameras uh, without the, their video. So yeah, really, really nice video. Once we have this, uh, let's start soldering. I'm using uh, this uh, fancy little uh, soldering iron with a, a screen, but uh, any soldering iron will do. Just make sure there is a clean tip. I'm just going to uh, stack this here, like so. And first I'm going to solder like the two opposite pins, like the first one and the 24, just so it can stay in place more easily. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, now that it's hot, just use uh, some solder and we'll start soldering. It's a kind of bad solder, but this will do. If you short the pins, uh, you can maybe rub the soldering iron between them or use the desoldering braid, uh, but I think just rubbing it uh, will do. Once we have like the, the two of them like so, uh, you just need to do all the rest. Now this board is finished. Uh, it's not the best, but uh, it will work. Now we take the second one and stack it on top. Uh, don't push it all the way down uh, since you still need uh, some uh, some gap here to uh, to plug the, um, the ribbon cable. So I'm just going to like so. And also, what you can do is create a little angle if you want, uh, so it's easier to use. So we'll do the same with this one and solder all the pins. Now we are finished with soldering and uh, this is the whole module. Uh, we can use it on uh, any of those little uh, 
toy cameras. Uh, we just have to plug it in. So let's zoom out. Now we can just toss this aside and get started with the disassembly of the toy camera. So we just need a Phillips screwdriver and remove those four screws. Once we have removed the four screws, we can just lift this part up and here you can see there is a CMOS chip which is uh, screwed in place. We just need to remove those two screws. Uh, now uh, note that uh, even if you take the exact same uh, version of uh, those little toy cameras, the exact same product, uh, the insides can be a little different each time. Uh, the last one I opened was quite different. I just removed some elements, but um, you can see it's not exactly the same on the motherboard. So uh, I did a full pinout, uh, like of all the possibilities with one cable that you can do with uh, the circuit bending of one of them. Uh, I'll put it into my uh, documentation, uh, but make sure to try out by yourself uh, the different bands uh, because I think it can vary between uh, the different devices. So here, we can just uh, unplug this ribbon cable here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So to remove it, we just need to lift this part up like this and take it out slowly. We'll note the orientation, the side of the connectors. We can see uh, it's on the opposite side, so it's face down that the pins connect. So we put this aside. Now we take our little module and the ribbon cable, the longer one, this one that we ordered. Uh, we first take this, we get it inside, firmly in place, face down, and then we pull the little lever, the little connector back down. Now it's secure in place. In place. Now we'll do the same with the, the bottom one. We just take the ribbon cable with the connector face down. Like this. And now we can use our little screwdriver to just close it back. Make sure not to snap the ribbon cable uh, in the process. Like I almost did there. And now we are ready to go. We can just plug this back in and, and we will be able to uh, do our little circuit bands. That's all. This is the, the whole module that you'll need. Uh, I will demonstrate how it works and why I choose uh, this kind of connectors with uh, the other camera that I built, which is this one. And you can see it's basically the same module as this. But uh, I 3D printed a case, uh, the 3D model will be into my documentation uh, as well in the description. And uh, I name it the trash cam because uh, everything is trash, uh, like it's really cheap uh, electronics, uh, it's all the safe uh, with uh, duct tape. And here we can see we have the same connector just sticking out. So if I turn it on, and if I go into the auto section here, I can just plug some cables in. And you can see and trigger different effects. So for example, if I go here, there is like a pink effect, for example, like so. And you can uh, try different uh, different versions. Uh, as I mentioned, I did a full pinout of the possibilities with one cable, so you can check this out. But make sure to try out by yourself because depending on the cameras, uh, the pinout can be different and the effects can vary a bit, I think. But uh, some are really interesting and when you try uh, putting like two cables, it gets really crazy really fast. Here are some pictures I took with it. Uh, you can see like uh, the different effects. Uh, you, you can mix them together. And uh, in the future, I plan on making like some shields that will plug onto this and able like manual control with potentiometers or other, uh, other variable resistors. And I don't know, maybe uh, you, you can invent whatever you want. You just have to uh, 
imagine something that will trigger the, the pins together. Uh, also, you can 3D print any case you want. It's just an example here. I, I went with like really, really basic. Uh, I just wanted something like solid uh, to put it in my pocket and take pictures on the go. So yeah, uh, big shout out to uh, overwhelm overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly neutral uh, for discovering this uh, because it made this uh, little project uh, possible. So yeah, have fun with, uh, with your camera and I leave you with uh, some uh, pictures I took with it. Thank you.